January and it is cold. It is about 18 degrees here at Memorial Lake State Park. Uh, we are in Lebanon County, uh, very close to Ford Indian Town Gap here at Memorial Lake. Uh, this is a 230 acre uh, state park, uh, probably known mostly for its lake, not really the hiking, although there is a um, trail that uh, circles the lake. So we're gonna go hike on that. Let's go. So this area here where you can load boats in is actually marked on the map as uh, being good for ice skating. It's, uh, yeah, a little bit, uh, oh, nope. <laughs> Yep, not ready for ice skating yet. Uh, it's only been below zero for two days here. Otherwise, it's been in the 50s, so there's a very thin coating of ice. But man, I'd love to get here when we've had a couple inches of ice for a few weeks and skate on this. It's beautiful. So we are near the settlement of Indian Town. I'm sure, that's not the native name, but uh, we are also at the base of Blue Mountain. Uh, near a gap. So Ford Indian Town Gap was established. It is a uh, National Guard training center that was built in uh, 1931 during World War II. It was used as a training site for seven army divisions and also as a demobilization site uh, once the war was over. Uh, Fort Indian County Gap later trained large numbers of soldiers and officers uh, during the wars in Korea, Vietnam, and the Persian Gulf. So uh, it's still an active National Guard base. It's just northeast of here. So this uh, Memorial Lake was established here in 1945 in memory and honor of Pennsylvania National Guard soldiers. Uh, who served in World War I and World War II. So, a little recreation spot for anybody stationed at Fort Indian Town Gap and also people who live nearby. A lot of signs here and no swimming, um, but there are a lot of uh, grills and picnic tables and playground stuff here. We've been on the uh, Lakeside Trail here um, goes to a parking lot. I'm going clockwise around the lake. Uh, grassland trail kind of, I think that's one of the only trails I'm not going to take today because I want to stick here and go around the lake. So Memorial Lake is a man-made lake here. Uh, so I think we're going to cross over the dam here in just a second. In 1955, the lake was transferred to uh, what would become the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. In Pennsylvania and became Memorial Lake State Park. Let's try and go over this dam now. All right, so no fishing up here, but we can definitely cross. Ah, this is beautiful. Now, cascade of water under us, spilling over the dam. Looks like an earth and stone dam here with concrete spillway. And water is just a blue mirror today, reflecting that blue sky. A lot of birds, ducks, geese out on the water. This is a great little place. I never knew it was here, honestly.
down here now at the base of the dam. Kind of a concrete platform here that I'm standing on. I was sharing it with a blue heron, I believe. Uh, but this is about as close as we can get here on the bottom. There's water and leaves down here, it's pretty icy. And then it gets deeper here under the dam, but I'm kind of on this more concrete area, but that is impressive. So now on the southwest uh, edge of the park, best I can tell, we're on Memorial Road here. It's one way. Uh, traffic would be coming from behind me. So one, one lane, one way road here, but we'll be on this paved road for a little bit before we get up to the lakeside trail again. Coming up the road here, there's a field that's kind of marked off uh, as a sanctuary for the Purple Martin. A lot of the birds. most notable thing I see about Purple Martins here is that they are the largest of the nine swallow species found in North America. They have a wingspan of 14 to 16 inches, a length of 7 inches, and weigh only 2 ounces. The adult male has blue-black glossy plumage. Females and young are purplish-brown above with grayish-white underparts. Good to know. So, okay, so we're off the road and into some woods here on the Scout Trail. Still continuing clockwise. A little bridge here. It's a great little area, I'll tell you what. It's uh, a little bit of everything. Uh, you're never too far from the lake, except on the um, on the Memorial Road part. But uh, overall, not too bad here. Uh, it's a pretty flat walk, but definitely some things to do here. Very peaceful. It's very peaceful here. I think is how I would uh, definitely describe it. Pretty laid back, relaxing. Another boat launch area here, and uh, picnic area, and then they've got these, uh, I guess, life jacket hanger dryer racks, which is pretty cool. All right, so Memorial Lake is pretty awesome. Nice secluded uh, place. I'd wager it could get busy on the weekends and such, especially in the summer. Uh, a lot of recreational boating activities to do here, uh, but there are lots of uh, just benches, picnic tables, little secluded places um, all around the lake that you can probably find a quiet spot. Walking down to the base of the dam is really awesome. Uh, definitely recommend that. And I've seen two uh, gigantic blue heron here, uh, which is awesome. I was really close to one. He was standing up, had to be four feet tall. <laughs> came, came up to my chest. But um, no, this is great. Thanks for watching. Uh, please uh, like, subscribe. Thank you for the shares, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.